Hey guys, so today we're going to be creating a name tag. So this is going to be using the text tool um, and some of the tools we've already used to create an object that I'm going to 3D print for you if you're in my 3D printing CAD CAM photography course. Um, so to start, I've already got into the 2D, uh, 2D sketch um, location. So the next step I need to do is create a basic rectangle. Oh, and I've just missed the yellow square there, which actually isn't too much of a drama with this particular project, but normally you want to actually select that. And that's going to be 50 and then pressing tab by 25. Okay, then I've got my basic rectangle. I'm going to go 3D model extrude. And I'm only going to extrude that 5 millimeters. Okay, so I've got that all set. So I've got the base of my key tag down packed. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let, uh, left click on the face there and go to the fifth option to the right. And that way I can start drawing on that face. And so I'm going to use the text tool up in the top left hand corner. Um, and I'm going to make a box just about the same size as my name tag. Um, and so if I go 9, um, L-A-X-T-O-N, cool. Um, and that's just a guess because that's the height of the letters are 9 millimeters. And look, it fits pretty, fits pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, normally it takes me a couple shots um, to actually get that right. But obviously today I'm, I'm feeling pretty lucky. Um, so now what I'm going to do is extrude that. So you can move around just by left clicking and it'll be able to move your writing around, um, which is good. Uh, nothing special there. And then I go 3D model up in the top left hand corner. Extrude. Um, now, when you think about how a 3D printer works, right? It's laying down layers of plastic. So if I bring these up, um, I'm not going to be able to. Uh, it's just going to be a bit weak. Okay. So each layer might flake off because it's only going to be a couple of millimeters up. So if you have a, look, so I've just left clicked on that. So that's it coming up. What I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to cut it all the way through. All right. Whoops. And we're going to cut it all the way through. And that's just a way to double check. If you pull that all the way through, it should be fine. And then you can see that. So now, there's an issue we need to talk about, okay? So have a look at that. So you can see there, the middle of the A is going to fall out and the middle of the O is going to fall out. All right, so the way to fix that, I can actually go through to Extrusion 2. I can go to Edit Feature. And you can see here, I can actually edit this. So if I turn it sideways, so I can actually see a little bit better. I can drag it up, and I might want to go two millimeters in. Okay, and then that way, um, the A and the O is still going to be nice and solid in there because they've got quite a bit of surface area. Um, but as well, it's not going all the way through, so they're not going to fall out and they're not going to flake off. So that should be just about perfect. Last thing, I mean, I need somewhere to put the um, hole in. Okay. And I think I might actually, so I'm probably not going to print this one off because I've already printed one off previously and I've lost it. Um, but our laptops actually need a key tag, so I might print one off for them. Um, but I'm going to finish off with this one, obviously, showing you first. So last thing is putting a circle in. Um, normally I make this circle about, I'm going to make it three millimeters. Okay. And that's just to um, give it a certain, I don't know, give it, make it big enough to fit lots of types of keychains so I don't have to walk around and try to find a really specific one. Um, and I'm going to make it three millimeters from that edge. And then I'm also going to make it three millimeters from that edge. That way it's going to give it a bit of clearance around the edge to give it a little bit of strength. 3D model, extrude. And I'm extruding that one and I want to cut it and okay. So you can see there, that one's basically done. Last thing you could do if you wanted um, is actually go to fill it. And then 2 millimeter radius is pretty good. And you go around and fill it. So you can see there, sorry guys, but my um, audio just cut out. So I've skipped back a little bit. Um, but you can see there, I've just filleted everything on that. Um, and so it just looks a little bit nicer. And so that I can actually 3D print it for you. And the file that you need to send to me, you go file... You go to the arrow next to print, and you go to send to 3D printing services. And the really important thing is you actually go to options. Come on, computer. Options. Oh, no, now it's being really slow. Uh, and then you just make sure you change units to millimeters and go OK, OK. Um, and then you need to save it. So saving it as, I don't want to save it in spinning top. I'll probably save it in just inventor like that. And it's going to be called key 
Marte. It's always important to make sure you name your stuff, so save it like that. Um, and if you want to make any changes, you're going to have to save it normally as well, but when you hand it up on sector to me, I'm going to want the SDL file, so I don't know why that came up. But anyway, so hopefully that's helped you out, and you guys are going to be able to do that effectively, and make sure, though, you send me the SDL file and change it into millimetres. Thank you for watching.